Recapping our top stories tonight, fire roars through a 100-unit apartment complex in Campbell, forcing at least 20 people from their homes and causing a quarter of a million dollars damage. In Belmont, 10 mobile homes were destroyed by a fire that firefighters believe was deliberately set. And homeowners complain of too little help too late in the Pebble Beach fire that destroyed 32 homes. In other news tonight, the House approved a bill requiring the president to give Congress the details about U.S. plans in the Persian Gulf. Investigators have found 69 cases where railroad workers have intentionally disabled safety devices because they thought they were annoying. And sources say that director John Landis has reached an out-of-court settlement in a civil suit filed after actor Vic Morrow and two children were killed on the set of the movie Twilight Zone. It is known as an open call, the infamous term used by agents and producers when they're looking for young talent. As New Center 4's Wayne Friedman tells us now, today they were looking for undiscovered kids. So you think your child has something special. <laughs> Take a seat, pull out the coloring books, get to know your neighbors. This is Heather and I'm her grandmother guardian. She lives with me and she's a potential Cheryl Teague. <laughs> you agree with that? Yeah. Oh, we ask that mom stay out, okay? So we get to do this completely. Surely. This is what happens when the steel agency of San Francisco puts out an open call. They're looking for kids next door to put in your magazines and television sets. Kentucky Fried Chicken is my favorite. I wish, chicken. I wish, I wish I had sneakers. Mommy, I love honeycomb cereal. Mommy, I love honeycomb cereal. They have to be, be able to say it like it is. Yeah, and have expression, be able to talk with their body, move with their body. Um, all, all of those things. I think they have to be comfortable with themselves, you know, really self-confident mm -hmm. at a very young age. At a very young age, exactly. With exactly the right look and more than a little luck, there's big money to be made, thirty or $40,000 for one national TV spot. No wonder 200 kids and their parents showed up. Down the road, I'd like to, you know, for her to make a lot of money so I can quit my job. I'm really not too happy with my job, and I'd like to be a stage mother. That's what I like to be. Is that okay with you? Most of the kids were cute, real cute, and that's about all. But there is strength in numbers, and out of those odds emerged 13-year-old Ricky Nelson. I want to do everything, soap operas and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, everything. Big fan of soap operas, too. So when you get the munchies and you want a wholesome snack, eat fun fruits from Sunkiss. Hopefully we're going to get him a national commercial so he can make lots of money. And maybe some print work, too. We'd like to do both. You agree with that? Absolutely, positively. Yeah. So if, after all of this, you still think your child has more of that special something than the rest, come on down to the next open call. Well, she uh, is uh, the runner, one of the runner-ups for uh, Junior Miss Northern California of 86. Just remember, no matter what the age, it's still a jungle out there. In San Francisco, Wayne Friedman, News Center 4. And if you didn't know it, there have been some updates in the ongoing holy wars. And just for you tonight, our Wayne, Shannon, Con